Hello and welcome, especially to all my new subscribers. A very special welcome. I'm very glad that you have found my channel. I thought I would do just a quick little video to talk about my sewing kit, my housewife. One of my favorite things ever that I've made. It's so useful and I use it literally all the time. It went with me to events. Remember events? <sighs> Back in the before times. It went with me pretty much every time I was going to be sewing in historical costumes or at historical sites or just in the car on the way to an event and I still needed to sew. It's incredibly portable, very good to have around, and it holds all of the things I need for hand sewing, which I do a fair amount of, especially in the car. You may recognize the outside as the banner image of my channel page. These fabrics are very special to me. They are scraps left over from the first two gowns that I made when I worked at Colonial Williamsburg in the Costume Design Center. And I was just so excited to work on those gowns because I'd never made 18th century gowns before. And as a tailor in this Costume Design Center, I didn't do a lot of constructing garments. I did a lot of repairing and altering, especially breeches, which was the worst, but I loved making those gowns. And so I held onto the scraps that I cut off from the hems, and then I turned those scraps into my housewife. I made this, oh goodness, six years ago now, when I had a reason to sew while in Regency attire, and it has come with me to almost every event since then. And I've stocked it with historically accurate sewing tools. There are a number of ways to keep a housewife closed. I went with a simple tie made of tool tape from Berlin Trowbridge. It's not fancy, but it does the job. My housewife has five total pockets. The bottom one contains wood thread winders, also from Berlin Drawbridge. I usually keep one with white thread, one with black, and one with the color of whatever my current hand sewing project happens to be. Right now this one has navy, but I should probably change that out since I'm not sewing anything navy at the moment. The next pocket holds my embroidery snips. I bought these from Mountain Forge at the Fort Frederick Market Fair in 2016. Next we have the Almighty Thimble, which I've had for ages and I honestly don't know where it came from. And my needle case, full of needles of course. I like to keep a variety of needles inside for various sewing tasks. Can you tell which one is my favorite? The needle case itself was a gift from my good friend Laura, who visited Colonial Williamsburg with her family back when I think we were in middle school, and she bought it as a souvenir for me. I've kept it all these years, and I now use it regularly because I do so much hand sewing. Next up, we have a little pin cushion that I made from wool, stuffed with wool roving to keep the pins from rusting. It also holds one needle blunt embroidery needle that is too large to fit in my needle case. It looks like it should fit, but it really doesn't. But it keeps very nicely in this little sort of pocket on the back of my pincushion. This 
pocket also holds a little lump of beeswax for waxing thread. Finally, the last pocket contains a measuring tape that I hand marked with a felt tip marker on linen tape from Burnley Trowbridge. Before I marked this measuring tape, I washed it in hot water and pressed it dry with an iron to prevent future shrinkage so that my markings would be accurate. If you would like a housewife of your own, I know um, Willoughby and Rose has a housewife pattern and I believe occasionally she has housewife kits in her Etsy shop, so you should definitely go check that out. Also, she just did a video on making a housewife, so definitely check that out. Mine is a little different from hers, and that's fine. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my sewing kit, aka housewife. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And you can check out some of my other videos, if you are so inclined.